Chef Pennington here. Today we're going to our second in our mother sauce series. We're doing velouté. Now velouté is a sauce, but I want you to think of velouté as more of a style of a sauce, which is great because we're making sauces. Today we're going to make tomato velouté, which is super delicious. It's just a really cool way of taking velouté and adding a lot of flavor. We're going to be learning how to make a root, incorporate stock, and thickening the stock. We'll go through each and every one of those steps in detail and i'm also made most of this video in real time which means it'll be just a little bit more lengthy but you'll actually see exactly how to do it so let's get started making and cooking the roux roux is butter and flour mixed together it could be another oil or fat but in most cases butter butter is a lot of great flavor and we love butter here at butter and time be sure to use high quality butter which always helps i like carry gold not said that I'm not paid to say that. I should be, but I love their stuff. So you guys check them out. It's about $3, which is not too bad when you're cooking. You want good flavor. So we got two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. And the shallot adds great depth of flavor. That's something a lot of people miss out on is flavoring your roux, which is awesome. You can put anything you want in there, really. But often a little onion, garlic, something like that. You know, that's a base of a lot of stuff in cooking. So we're letting that into our roux, which is cool. So you definitely want to cook the flour out of the roux. Otherwise, you're going to get this little bit of a grainy, gritty kind of flavor. Well, that's a physical aspect of your sauce. It's just not good. Nobody wants that. So don't miss out on that point. You're essentially toasting the flour inside of the butter, which really is awesome because it creates such a depth of flavor. All right, incorporating the stock. This is where everything goes right or wrong. So I've got a cup and a half of stock right there. And you want to start slowly putting it in there and letting everything get happy. Um, it's going to seem like it's really loose and it's going to be like there's no way this is going to come together as a sauce. But you'll see, it certainly does. That's what the roux is. The roux is the thickening agent that's going to cause the sauce to thicken. So that's what we're doing. We're taking a roux and a stock and we're bringing them together into one to be a sauce. So little by little there, I've got a full cup in there. And I'm cooking it. I'm letting everything come together. And you're going to notice as you cook it on really medium heat. You don't want this high. This is medium. You're going to see the stock thicken on you. And you're going to come to a point here where it's going to look like it's trying to seize up on you and become too thick. And that's why we're going to have that extra half a cup of stock sitting there ready to fix this for us. And that's the viscosity is the thickness of the sauce. And you guys know what kind of sauce you're looking for. So that little extra stock on the side is absolutely crucial. Otherwise, if that sees it up, it's no good and you got to start over again. I often like to have even more than that cup and a half on the side because all flour does not absorb the same. So that's something to consider. Have enough stock on the side in case things are going haywire on you. You know, and one of the things that's cool about sauces is they can be fixed. If it's too thick, you add more stock. If it's not thick enough, you know. So the heat is off here, and here's the flavoring. We're going to use some tomato paste. Tomato paste is like really strong tomato flavor, which is great because we don't need to use a lot of it. And the amount you use will depend on what color you want your sauce to be. And that's completely up to you. You don't even have to make a tomato. This is really about learning how to make a velouté. But the color, it's amazing. I mean, we love tomato in so many things and so many dishes. But to be able to create this rich of a color of a sauce... There's something really cool about that. And I think, yes, when you're serving them, they're going to be like, wow, that's a beautiful sauce. It's velvety and everything. So here's what you want to do. Coat the back of a spoon. If you're there, you're great. If not, turn the heat back on and let it thicken, which is what the heat naturally does. It like engages it. Taste, season, and just a little bit of salt you guys might like. And you guys have got yourself a velute and a delicious one at that. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Everything on the website. Everything you guys need. All the instructions and everything. And you guys have a great one.